everybody Anne here sitting in the tiny house just finished my coffee yep I'm all by myself <sighs> Papa is at the vet he spent the night last night and I got to go pick him up a little bit later on today and hopefully it all went well so today I have got to got to get that dog yard finished all right we got this fence post put right here I think it needs to go down a little bit lower it's a little bit shorter than these other ones, but that's okay. I still need to put the, more of the clips around. That's the same. This is now a gate. And we got this all done. Still a few fence clips, post clips, whatever you call them, need to go around. And we just brought it all the way over here and cut it. This needs to be secured better, but I may end up putting a gate here. So I'm going to leave it that way for right now. I am going to secure it a little bit better before Papa gets home. But Papa is not one to mess with the fence. He's just not. Um, Judy will be. So this fence is not Judy proof yet. It needs a little bit more work. I need to go around and tighten these up and put another one in the center of each one of these. And I may end up lining this with plants that climb. Um, I don't know. I might put them on the other side of the fence though. But, yeah, this little gate here is just bungeed. It's not secured properly yet. I will secure it properly. This little thing is right here, and it's just kind of supported, held down with that center block. I don't think Judy can get through that. I'm not sure, though. I may put something over the face of that so that she can't get through. And then you guys remember that I've got this thing over here, right there. So, the dogs have a safe yard to play in. It's a little muddy over here. I need to put some stuff down there. Um, that's going to be closed, definitely. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. I went out exploring and I found these, they call them, um, they're wild, uh, wild daffodils or something like that. Um, Poets Narcissus. And uh, they, they came in just one big clump. But I separated them and they survived. Yeah, I'm getting... Some flowers, some pretty flowers. Look. Isn't that pretty? Yep, they're growing. Yep, another pretty flower over here. This just bloomed today. Oh, I love it. And then I'm trying not to pan too quick. I do that too often. Um, I went and got a couple wild raspberry uh, vines. And um, I didn't, they, they immediately wilted. And I figured that they would probably die, but they perked up this morning, so I'm probably going to get one more. I'm just going to wait and see how these do. Um, I've got them all over the place, but I just wanted a few closer to the tiny house so I can harvest them closer. And I dug up another pine. I haven't transplanted it yet, but I need to do that. There's, I just watered it and kept it down in there in a bag, so I need to get that planted today. But the next thing I need to do is I need to go pick up Papa. I haven't got a call from the vet yet but they'll be calling soon. The vet just called, so I'm on my way to pick up Papa. Well, look who's home. Yes, it is Papa. He's a little bit, you know, out of it, which is to be expected, but he's gonna be okay, and I've got some very good news. The vet has cleared Papa. He does not have to have another, uh, like a third series of shots, a two day, you know, goes in one day, has a shot, goes in the next day, has another shot. He doesn't have to do that in four weeks. So, but he does have to go back in six months and get tested again for heartworm just to make sure that everything that we've done has killed those heartworms. So, that's a relief. All I've got is four more weeks from today. Um, you'll be seeing this tomorrow, but um, anyhow, you understand what I'm saying. So, um, like, he'll be, he'll be good to go by the middle of May. So Donna, I don't know, my, my parents and my son are coming down like the second weekend in May or something like that. And I know you've already made reservations. We'll talk about that later anyhow. And another good thing is, went up to the counter and I was going to give them my card, you know, to pay for the balance. I thought I was going to have to owe them another $425 or something like that. Well, apparently somebody had called the vet and made a donation. So all I had to pay today was like 175 bucks and some odd cents. And he's done. He's done. I mean, 
We're going to keep our fingers crossed that he's done, that he doesn't have to go through another series. Um, oh gosh, what a relief, you know, I got the, the yard done. I, I just, I don't even know what to say because I'm just so, whew, I'm just so relieved. I don't know who you are who made a donation and called the vet and made a donation, but thank you so very much. Um, thank you just from the bottom of my heart and Papa thanks you too. There he is, poor boy. He's, he's tired. In the other videos, I had said that um, I had given him a tramadol to calm him down. No, no, no. It's a trazodone. Trazodone. It's a sedative and it knocks him out. Um, and I had told them that I wasn't giving him the gabapentin. They want me to give him the gabapentin because they say it's very painful and he may not show it. So I'm going to definitely give him the, the gabapentin. And he's also got more um, prednisone he's got to take. So <sighs> we're on the mend, folks. Just look at this good boy. He's shedding so bad. I would love to be able to brush him out again today. But um, they give the shot on either side of the spine, not in his butt. So I don't want to touch his backside for a few days at least until, you know, he's kind of over this initial thing because the shot, I guess, is really, really painful. But he's just chilling out. So we got four more weeks of keeping him calm. But he is going up and down the steps, so that's good. Kind of sniffing around the little plants and the things that are different here. <sighs> Thank goodness. Oh, Papa, I can't wait till you're all... See, he doesn't want to sit down. Oh, that poor boy. And I don't know if today could get any better, but Mr. Lucas came over to mow my lawn. Mow my weeds. Look at him, he's the man. Would you look at this, you guys? Mr. Lucas' brother gave me all these beautiful bass. So, what do you think I'm going to do with them? It's fish cleaning time. I got plenty of fresh water, flay knife, a scaler. Let's get to this. That's pretty gross, isn't it? My fillet knife is so dull. So, yeah, I just uh, chopped their heads off and gutted them and took the scales off and I need to see if I got room in my refrigerator. Guess what you guys? Turns out chickens love fish entrails. Oh yeah, they're pecking this to bits. They love it. Yeah, if they don't eat the the uh, heads before nighttime, I will remove them. But they've gotten so much of it eaten already. Lucky chickens. Mm, look at this, you guys. Hobo fish. Let me get a little taste. Hopefully no bones. Oh, it's done so perfect. Mm, oh, my goodness. This is so good. So good. I'm just going to eat it. I'm not going to make you guys watch me eat it, but... Mm, delicious. I think today is a good day for a nice cold shower. I've got like dirt all over me. I mean, it's on my neck. I can feel it on my face. Um, that was a total surprise that Mr. Lucas came over and mowed my lawn. He's just so awesome. I swear. <sighs> they don't make them like that. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say they don't make them like that anymore. It's just they're really hard to find. So, well, I think I'm just going to kind of chill out for the rest of the evening. Enjoy my chickens, enjoy having a dog back, and think about what I'm going to get done tomorrow, because I think I'm going to feel a lot more safe and secure, a lot more peaceful, now that I know that Papa's got a nice yard. The real test is going to be when Judy gets here, <laughs> and when she, you know, if this fence is actually Judy-proof. Um, I think what I am going to do is invest in some of those little post the stake thingies that you can put down into the ground to secure the fence to the ground and nail them in at various spots around. Um, and I do think I'm going to bring a lot of pots and maybe just have the flowers in this area um, and just make it look really nice and pretty. And maybe I can get like um, a little table and chairs with a 
umbrella over the top and you know keep it open so that'll give some sh extra shade for the dogs so anyhow i'm just rambling that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video <laughs>